Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to part two of the video where we'll be discussing how to install um, an upgraded antenna and um, just uh, discussing a few things around that. So as mentioned in my previous video, um, I bought this piece. Uh, you, can, you can buy it directly from Ribmax or from Futaba USA. Um, I'll put the part number in the uh, description. Um, as well as an exploded view of the radio so that you can see all the parts in case you need any other parts because um, I found this online, so, you know, whatever. Um, I can put that up there. Now, um, the only thing I'd like to highlight before we go into what you need to do in order to build this um, is what you should do with this antenna. Now, my mistake was that in the original board, I was uh, experimenting around trying to fit in that uh, little uh, SMA adapter and or RPSMA. And what I did was there is a little tab right there, so that's um, this one here. And I managed to basically bend this back and forth a few times, and uh, it broke off. So what I did was I completely cut it off. The problem is that you can't get the connector in if you try and what I did was I tried to modify this without having the part. So um, what I would suggest is you buy this part for around £10 including shipping, um, you get it delivered and then rather than taking out the antenna from here and then transferring it to a new piece, um, it would be probably much more clever to actually leave this in the plastic tray that it's already in, disassemble the transmitter just like um, I've shown you in the previous video, and then take out this um, mid tray or whatever you want to call it, mid frame, um, including the antenna. The only reason why I'm saying that is because if we um, look a bit uh, more closely onto this connection here, you can see that in order to remove this, you have to bend one side, you have to bend the side that's got the the little retainer uh, bracket and the reason why it's not a good idea is because this can actually snap off and then you need to get um, a new uh, transmitter antenna if you ever want to return to a stock configuration. Um, these are a bit more expensive, I think they're around £30 which is relatively expensive for a little antenna like this but they are tuned and whatnot so you know um, Futaba does take very good care and produces very high quality antennas in general so I would recommend you to you know not damage this and if you can uh, not take it out otherwise if you just want the uh, cheap upgrade so to say without buying any parts then what you need to do is you need to file down this uh, connector at the top so uh, if we have a look at the original one, this is how it looks like and as you can see there's a, it's a bit of a, a nib or the whole thing basically widens uh, towards the top and um, it's also got these little two tabs which uh, basically allow the antenna to only rotate like uh, 45 degrees I think. So uh, anyway, and basically you need to file it down all the way to the, to the end of that tab. Um, you can see I've done it a bit more and if you do it a bit more then you get a, a small gap between the uh, antenna and the top so that dimension is just right for um, SMA adapters because they all come in one length so it's almost like it's made for it. Um, but anyway, uh, going back to this, um, all you need to do is then, uh, depending on whether you have this installed or not, you know, um, either you will plug it in directly into your um, antenna uh, antenna jack, or you'll go into uh, your uh, amplifier and the ANT side, of course, and then um, that's the way that you hook uh, everything up together. Now, let's just um, have a quick look at how everything works uh, from this side. So if we uh, turn on the power, you can see everything uh, works fine. If we then flip this around, you can see we've got red and blue, just like we have red and blue at the front. And then if we turn this off and hold the return key, put the power on, you can see we can go on RF off and the module is off completely because it receives no power. Um, so that's that's basically the mod 
And um, yeah, the only thing to keep in mind with this uh, is really when you um, when you turn this on and then you go into range check, that is going to be range check. Okay, so that's going to flash, and that will not really work. Okay. So um, that's not going to work, and if you have a look at the back, the module just keeps blinking. So I'm guessing that's not really going to work because the blinking has only like an indication as to uh, what mode, what power mode you're currently in, and you know uh, basically what you're doing with the blinking is you're essentially just turning on and off that module. So. Anyway, oh, there we go, battery fell out. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you found it useful and learned something. And um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching.